A body of an unidentified woman wearing only a pink nightdress was found on farmland in Cockley Clay, Swatham on the 27th of August 1974. A 19-year-old tractor driver was out on a morning walk when he stumbled upon the body. It was lying near a track which led to Brake Hill Farm, Brandon Road, in the village of Cockley Clay. Upon finding the body, he went home to call the police. Her body was in overgrowth and it was discovered that she had been decapitated and her hands were bound with rope and she was badly decomposing. Her head has never been found. The police believe she went missing approximately two to three weeks before her body was discovered. When the unknown woman was found, she was wearing only a pink 1969 Marks and Spencer's nightdress. At the time, police assumed she was between the ages of 25 to 35 years old, and she stood at 5 foot to 5 foot 2 inches tall. Despite a thorough investigation, police decided the case had to close because they had no other information to go on, and she was later buried in an unmarked grave. In 2008, a cold case review reopened the case under the operational name of Monton. In 2009, samples of her toenails, pubic hair and thigh bone were sent to an expert in isotope analysis. This test showed that she was from Central Europe and could quite possibly be from Denmark. They also found her diet consists of mainly fish and meat including crab and had drank water from Scotland. A forensic osteoarchaeologist examined the unknown woman's skeleton and with their team they were able to say that she had been pregnant at least once and she was likely right-handed. The police then tried to link her with relatives using the familial DNA but she did not match anyone on the national database. It was determined that she was between the ages of 20 to 30 years old. A US-based company were able to identify the plastic sheet that covered her body and it was identified to be a cover of a payroll machine and they were able to identify that the machine it had come from. However, thousands of machines were manufactured by national cash registers and many were shipped overseas and the investigators were unable to follow this further. In 2010, the police were investigating a lead that the Cockley Clay body was that of a woman known as the Duchess, who had worked as a prostitute and had frequented the docks in Great Yarmouth during the 1970s. Due to the unknown woman seeming to have no one looking for her, could mean she was a loner, and this corresponds with information known about the Duchess. Police were given this lead after a 2008 episode of BBC's Crime Watch episode featuring the case which led to 30 calls including 12 names of women. Information gathered by the police about the Duchess is as follows. She arrived in Yarmouth between 1973 and 1974. She was aged between 40, 30 to 40 years old. She arrived on the Espjerg ferry from Denmark and lived at the Dockers hut on Ocean Terminal for four to five months during 1973 and 1974. The local dock workers nicknamed her the Duchess as she was very secretive about her personal life and she was known to use the roll on roll off ferry company and would escort lorry drivers who were travelling between Eschberg and Yarmouth and she was known to escort delivery drivers in the UK and was known amongst most dock workers and lorry drivers who worked in the quayside during the 1970s. Police learnt she had spent time in police custody, but the records from that time have been destroyed. 
Investigators have several witnesses regarding the Duchess, but all have conflicting accounts regarding her accent, ranging from Danish German to English, though it was agreed that she was able to speak fluent English. In 1973-74, the Duchess disappeared from the Dockers' Hut and left behind her belongings that were never collected. The investigators want to identify this woman so that if she is still alive, they can eliminate her from their inquiry. A quote from Detective Inspector Ante Guy, who is in charge of the current investigation. To date, the inquiry team working on the case have identified 555 women that are of interest to the inquiry. Some of these females were reported missing in the 1970s and are still missing today. Others were not officially reported to police and came into the inquiry by other means. This inquiry is not restricted to the UK and we are also looking at women who disappeared from other European countries. So far, 416 women have been identified and ruled out of the inquiry. I am keen to talk to anyone who may have knowledge of the murder, especially family or friends, of a female aged between 23 to 35 years old and 5 foot 2 inches tall who disappeared in the summer of 1974. This woman would have had friends, neighbours and possibly work colleagues. Somebody must have noticed she had disappeared. Somebody must have noticed she had disappeared. I would ask that anyone who was aware of a young woman going missing in 1974 to contact the team. It may be that you were told or became aware of a story that didn't sound credible at the time, such as a neighbour or a friend had left a family home, or run off with another man, or perhaps gone back to their mother. It may be that you felt this sounded odd at the time, but I'd never reported it. If that is the case, please call us on 01953 424 548. It is possible that this lady may not have been local to Norfolk, and we are not confining our inquiry to the local area. In 2016, the police were still looking into the lead of the Duchess, but in investigating this case, the police gathered 500 missing women's cases and were successfully able to eliminate a lot of them. Several of the women were alive and the police contacted them regarding relatives who wished to speak to them, and 52 were listed as missing were found to have died. The rope that was found with her body was analysed and it was made in Dundee. The police noted that it was unique as it had four strands whilst most rope has either three or five strands. They spoke with a rope expert who said that this sort of rope would have been used with agricultural machinery. The police tried to track down the maker but all the firms that made this rope in Dundee are all closed. As of March 2018, the police are still investigating the case and have not ruled out the possibility that the unknown woman found in Cockley Clay may be that of the woman known as the Duchess. If you have any information regarding this case, please contact the following. Unsolved Case Review Manager, Mr Andy Guy, on contact telephone number 01953. 423819 or email unsolved case reviews at norfolk.pnn.police.uk or anonymous, anonymously ring up Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 111 and thank you for watching.